Hey, it's Sandy, and in today's video, I have the highly requested ultimate guide to Halloween nail art for you guys. With Halloween just around the corner, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 festive nail art designs that are perfect for Halloween. They're really easy to do, super cute, a little spooky, and really fun to create. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button down below if you're a big fan of our ultimate guide videos, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below with which of these 10 designs is your favorite. Alright, let's get started. To begin, you'll want to start off with a really good base coat to protect your natural nails. This will help to protect the colored pigments in the nail polish from staining your nails. Especially when we do a green base or an orange base, I find those stain the most. It will also help to keep your manicure lasting all week long. The first design is a little spider hanging from its web. To start this nail, you'll first need a white nail polish. Paint your nail with a white nail polish using two thin coats. Next, we're going to make the spider's body. For this, you will need to add a drop of black polish onto tin foil and then dip a big dotting tool into it. Then, just press the dotting tool onto your nail. For the web, I'm going to be using a black striper. I prefer to use striping polishes when making long, straight lines. With a little polish on the brush, add a thin web from your cuticle to the spider's body. Next, he's going to need some legs. So, I'm using my favorite little nail art brush from Mini. I find it a lot easier to use a small nail art brush when I need to make small curved lines. Go ahead and add the spider's eight legs. And there you have it! The first design is complete. The second design is a black cat. To begin, start off with a bright green base. Make sure to give it a couple minutes to dry, and then use a black nail polish to add a half circle to the tip of the nail, and then fill it in. Next up is the cat's ears. Again, I'm going to be taking my black striper and adding two lines to form a triangle and then filling it in. Then I'm going to be taking my tiny paintbrush and adding a curved tail behind the cat. This is much easier to do with a small paintbrush versus the long, thin striper brush. To create the eyes, I'm going to be using red acrylic paint. I'm using paint here instead of nail polish because the red acrylic paint will easily show up over the black base. If you'd like to use nail polish, you have to paint the eyes with a white nail polish first and then cover it with a red nail polish to make the color pop. After creating the two ovals for the eyes, you can easily add two vertical black lines down each eye for the pupils. All done! Up next is the Smirking Pumpkin. For this design, you'll need to start off with an orange base. Then I'm taking my black striper to add triangles for eyes. I added some little black dots to help center and guide me in creating the triangles. I did this while my hand was facing me. This is a really great tip if you want to get the perfect placement on your nail. Then I just connected the dots and filled it in with a toothpick for more control. To create the smirk, just swipe the striper across the nail and then add in some creepy stitches. He kind of reminds me of Jack Skellington now. Comment down below if The Nightmare Before Christmas is one of your favorite Halloween movies too. And he's all done! And now it's time for the dripping slime nail. I'm starting off by using this really pretty purple polish. Once that's dried, I'm going to be creating the slime using the same green that I used for the background and the cat nail. I'm adding a big drop onto tinfoil, dipping in a big dotting tool, and then pressing it onto the nail, lifting it up a little, and dragging it up to the cuticle. Again, you'll want to press, lift a little, and drag. This technique creates some really great and easy drips. Then I'm flipping the dotting tool around and using the smaller side to add some more slime near the cuticle, connecting the big drips, and I'm adding a few smaller drips. And finally, I'm adding in a tiny little drop beneath one of the big ones. All done! The next design is one that I like to call the Franken French. To begin, start off with a nude base. Once that's dry, you're going to need a light green polish. Go ahead and create a green French tip. Stroke halfway across the nail, and then stroke from the other direction to meet in the middle. Using the black striper, I'm adding in a few stitches. You can make these random. Some can go to the left, some to the right, and some can overlap as X's. Trivia time! Who's Frankenstein? The doctor or the monster? Take your guess in the comments below. And now the first hand is done, minus the top coat. 
Moving on to the other hand, the next design is a pair of creepy eyes. Begin by painting your nail black. Then place a drop of white nail polish onto tin foil and dip a big dotting tool into it. Press two times, overlapping the dots slightly to create the cartoon eyes in the dark. Next, you'll need a bright red nail polish. Again, add a drop to tin foil and dip the smaller side of the dotting tool into it. Then you can finish the eyes by adding red pupils like so. Pretty easy! Next is one of my favorite Halloween designs and treats, candy corn. Begin by painting your nail white. Once that's dry, use an orange striper to draw two horizontal lines across the middle of the nail. Then fill it in. Next, use a yellow striper to color in the tip of the nail. This is actually my second time doing this nail because the first time I mixed up the orange and the yellow stripes, so make sure you do a white stripe, an orange stripe, and finally a yellow stripe. The eighth design is a glowing ghost. Start by painting your nail white. Give it a couple minutes to dry, and then layer on two coats of a glow-in-the-dark nail polish. Okay, so I'm editing the video right now, and I notice that every time I press the brush onto the nail, it glows a bright white. And I've been watching Stranger Things all day, so I'm a little creeped out. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't seen our latest video on how to create your very own custom glowing nail polish at home, make sure to click the link in the description box after you watch this video. Minnie will show you how she creates her very own customized glow-in-the-dark nail polishes and it's pretty cool! Okay, back to the ghost. Take a black polish, add some to tinfoil, and dip a tiny dotting tool into it. Use this to easily create the ghost's eyes. For the mouth, dip the big side into the black and then drag the dotting tool down the nail to create an open mouth. Finally, use a black striper to add some surprise looking eyebrows. And that's it! The ninth design is a creepy and fun blood splatter nail. As usual, begin with a white base. Allow it to dry and then prepare your nail for splattering. Here I'm using these easy peel off tape barriers by Midi. I love these because they're latex free, they're odorless, and they have no drying time. Once you've pressed it around your nail, you'll need some red polish and a drinking straw. Add a really big blob of red polish onto some tin foil, and then scoop up some nail polish into the straw. Make sure you scoop instead of just dipping. It should look like this. Then position the straw over your nail and blow into it. Keep scooping the polish and blowing into the straw until you're happy with the design. Also, make sure to have paper or napkins under your hand or you're gonna be left with a huge mess on your table. Then peel off the midi tape, clean up any excess, and you're done. And last but not least, we have a classic spiderweb nail. Begin with an orange base color. Then add a plus sign with an X over it to section up your nail into eight pieces. Using a black striper or a nail art brush, you can add three small curved lines in each of the eight sections. Remember to take your time while you do this and have both hands rested on the table to avoid any shaking. And now the final design is complete. The next step is to add a fast drawing top coat over all of your nails to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. Now, the last thing you'll want to happen right now is have the top coat smear your designs. So make sure you have enough product on your brush and just glide it over the nails without having the brush actually touch the nail. If you want a more detailed video on how to avoid smearing, just click the info card to watch our video on it. And there you have it, 10 super cute, fun, and slightly spooky nail art designs for Halloween. Which of these 10 designs was your favorite? Don't forget to comment below and let us know. Thanks so much for watching and requesting this video, you guys. I had so much fun making it for you. Also, if you haven't seen the first Ultimate Guide for Halloween, make sure to go and check it out. There you'll find 10 more cute and easy designs for Halloween, so you will have tons and tons of choices to choose from this year. The link is in the info card and in the description box. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and I hope you guys have an awesome and happy Halloween! Take care, and I'll see you next time!